in this grade book, we're going to do three things. One is we're going to do the test average. We're going to determine the semester average with an if statement, and we're going to use the vertical lookup to do the grade. This is discussed in the text in the book um, that you have here. If you have a file, you could work with something similar. First cell we have to work with is in G4. We want to know the average of these four tests. We could click over here. We click on average. And it's showing the marching ants going off correctly, which is good. We hit the Enter key to complete the formula. Drag it down. Semester average. What we're doing here, we want to say if they did OK on the homework, they're going to get three points added to the average. If they did poor, nothing added. So somebody who has a high average will get a better one. So to do this, we're going to insert a formula. We go to that FX, which I showed right here, and so it's most recently used here. If it doesn't show that, we go to logical. If. So I want to say, we can move this around. If this homework in here, this cell, equals OK, they're going to get an extra three points. We've got to type the OK in quotes. It says false. If it's true, we're going to add three points to the average. This plus, we click inside the three here. Make this an absolute, F4. If false, it just stays as G4. We say OK. So it says 76.3. Drag it down. So you could see that these were poor. These people here. Franklin is now gone from a B to an A, the grade. What we're going to do here is a vertical lookup. What that means is we've got this range down here that if they have between a 70 and a 79.99999, they get a C, and 82 and 89.9 is a B, etc. So to do that, it's based on here. That way we can calculate it automatically. We can click over here, and then we go in here. We're going to look up in reference. And so we want to say vertical lookup because they're in columns. Lookup value is a semester average. It lookup value, table array. That is all the information here. Don't highlight the, col col the header. Just highlight the data. The box collapses. And since we're going to be copying this down, we've got to make the whole thing absolute, hit the F4 key. The column index number, that's where the letter grade appears, where you're displaying the data. This is column 1. This is column 2. The letter grade is in here, so we say column index number 2, second column. Note, if you are creating anything, make sure it's in ascending order. If you have it in descending order with 90 at the top, it's not going to work. So as a formula result in here, we say OK, bring it down, we spot check here, A, B, D, A, all done. Always good to proofread before you print out the gradebook to make sure students are getting the correct grades.